Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm happy you're here today. If you're new, my name is Jen and I am so excited to share my video today with you because we're going to go on a very quick thrifting trip. I wanna show you some of the pieces that I picked up, including this gorgeous hutch behind me. We're gonna do a little bit of decorating of my front entry and changing up my coffee bar. We're trying to bring in some neutral tones and some warm tones just to help us bridge the gap from summer to fall. Now, I'm not quite ready for fall decorating yet and I know some of you guys are not yet either if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen that I scored this hutch for only $30 on Facebook Marketplace. It was such a deal. But I do have a few items that I wanted to share with you from my recent thrift trip. So let's head to the thrift store and see what we can find. But before we do, be sure and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of the future decorating fun that I've got coming your way. So we're going to head into Goodwill first. And I like to stop into Goodwill at least once a week just to see what's in there and what new inventory they have. I don't always buy something um, but this time I did come home with a really nice item and I always love to check their floral section and vases I thought this little one was really cute with the little handles on it And I know fall is just around the corner, so I wanted to check out their seasonal aisle. After finishing up at Goodwill, I headed to Jericho Road because I was on the lookout for a chair for my living room. I'm looking for a low profile chair that swivels, and I thought these were kind of cute. When I came across this one, I liked it even better. It was only $16.99. So you guys, this is the chair that I decided on. I love the texture of it. I have been on the lookout for a textured low profile chair for quite some time um, because of the fact that I didn't want a tall chair blocking the view from one part of the house to another. So I'm just going to place a solid green pillow on it just to sort of bring in the colors that we've been using throughout the house. And you guys, I also wanted to share with you this adorable lamp that I picked up for $14.98 at Goodwill. I think it is the perfect addition here in this corner. It's a cute little cozy spot that I can sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee or maybe read a magazine or a book. And it is missing a little bit of contrast. We have this darker colored throw that I picked up on Amazon. And I think I want to add to that one of my neutral linen pillow covers. So we're moving over to the coffee bar. I wanna start by placing this photo that I printed off from Kayla's View Photography. I feel like this is the final part of the year that I'll be able to use this before fall rolls in. And I did a Mod Podge technique on it and you can kind of see the texturing. Uh, when you remove the glass from the frame, you can see the texturing quite a bit more. Um, but I have a video on how to do this Mod Podge texturing technique. So if that's something you're interested, I'll go ahead and leave a link below so that you can check it out. But I just wanna get this placed into the center portion of the top. Some of the setup that I'm using for the coffee bar right now is similar to what I did in the summer. I really love having uh, varying heights. And so I've got that jug up there and then the little creamer and the picture frame. And that sort of creates this down and up for your eye to follow. And I just like placing this in here. I'm probably gonna end up using this quite a bit in the fall. So for today, it's just gonna be used as decor. I'm gonna place it there on the left side of the shelf. So I love using these rolling pins here on the middle shelf, but the problem is that I want to elevate the one in the back. So I just use this little spoon rest. I find that it's just the right height and it balances the rolling pin perfectly on it. I can set the other one right in front of it and it just looks perfect here on this side of the shelf. Something else I wanted to share with you guys are these really beautiful coffee syrup pumps. I picked these up on Amazon. They were quite discounted when I found them. And um, they came in a set of two, and I just wanna use one of them right now because I'm currently not really using any flavored syrups um, as often as I do in the fall anyway. I've got a butter toffee one that I'm going to be pouring into one of these. I think I'm gonna leave the other one empty because I'm not sure what syrups I'm going to be picking up for the fall time. So I forgot to show you that these um, syrup pumps came with this collapsible um, 
what do you call this? This collapsible funnel. And I thought that was so cute and so handy because ultimately I spill everything I try to pour into a jar. So this is going to come in very handy. Okay guys, so I'm just being real here. I have a hard time noticing if I'm in focus when I'm not wearing my glasses. So I'm almost 50 years old, so you know, the eyesight is going a little bit and that's okay. But I wanted to share with you this beautiful marble tray. I picked this up for $3.99 at Jericho Road and I know marble trays are super on trend right now. So the coloring is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I don't know if this is going to stay in the coffee bar area, but it's perfect to cover up that electrical wire and maybe corral some coffee items. I love this little pottery vase that I picked up at a thrift store recently. I think it's the perfect addition here in front of these florals for a bit of contrast and a great way to hold my spoons. Okay, so now it's time to move into the fun part. I cannot wait to get this hutch decorated and styled. So I'm starting with this wicker basket because I wanna add a little bit of texture and I'm trying to keep the color palette very simple. So I'm going with wicker and wood tones and then some white ceramics just to sort of round out that neutral, simple look. So just about all of the items here on my hutch are items that I found while thrifting. I've got a couple pieces that were gifted to me, but for the most part, these pictures and many of these items were thrift store finds and I absolutely love displaying them here. Now this wooden piece was something that I picked up from House and Home and although their shop is closed down, I do believe you can find this item on Amazon. It was a lot lighter. I did a little bit of a DIY to darken it up some and I'm just placing a white ceramic picture in front of it. Now another thing that you can do to transition from summer to fall is to take the florals that you're currently using in your summer decorating and swap them into a vase that has a deeper, darker tone. I love these florals here on the bottom shelf of my hutch. Now in the center, I wanna bring in another wood tone just to sort of balance out all of the wood that I've got on the middle shelf. So I'm placing this cake stand in the middle. And then on the right side of the bottom shelf, I'm using these hearth and hand plates because I love that green color. I've been using that all through my house this season and I think it's just beautiful. On top of that, I'm gonna place a white pitcher and then right in front, another white pitcher.
Well guys, that's gonna do it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me thrifting and putting together some of my styling for my thrifted hutch. $30 on Facebook Marketplace. You can't beat it, you guys. I love secondhand shopping. If you need some inspiration on how to find your own super deals, I also created a how to thrift video, and I will link that below in the description box if you're interested in getting started on your own thrifting journey. I have had so much fun hanging out with you today, and I hope you guys did too. Leave me a comment and let me know what do you think. I will see you in the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.